Hey guys, it's Ren from Make It By Ren Ren, and if you want to see this look, fall coppery gold look from Mineral Magic, stay tuned for more. Today guys, I'm going to do a tutorial on this look right here, and it's very simple and easy. It's like three steps and that's it. I will be featuring a new Mineral Makeup line today, which is Mineral Magic, and they have some really awesome products. You, if you read my blog, I had done a review on their microdermabrasion mask, which is really great. And I wanted to use their mineral eyeshadows, which they are really famous for. Um, they have these really cool stacks. See these? There's like 10 of these really great colors that you can get in these screw stacks. And I really like that because it really keeps your eyeshadows together. And if you have a lot of products, it can get kind of overwhelming when you have about 20 of these little jars lying around. So I love how they're, they're screwed together like this. And I got a really pretty combination. And I believe this is like the YouTube, one of the YouTube collections. And I swatched it on my hand, but they're kind of fading a little bit right here. But the colors are really cool because these aren't all typical regular pigments. They have a very iridescent duochrome shade to them. Like for example this, it just looks white but when you swatch it, it looks like a greenish um, blue. So it's like really cool because depending on what base you put under these, it can totally change colors. Let me just run through some of the shades. I have like this shade right here which is like a greenish gold. Reminds me a lot of Max Old Gold Pigment. We have like some blue greens over here, some purples. Um, this purple right here, it looks just like Stars and Rocket. They have like a very similar MAC dupe for, you know, clearly a lot cheaper. So definitely look into Mineral Magic if you love loose pigments and these are very versatile colors as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the look. First off, I am going to prime my eye with Stilo Cosmetics uh, Eyeshadow Primer, and this is in medium, and I use this all the time. I'm just going to put it all over my lid and then underneath. I will also be showing off this really great set of brushes that um, Mineral Magic sells as well, and it's a cute little mini set. A little bit dirty right now, but here it is. It has a, all of these really soft synthetic brushes, and it has like a, a blush and a foundation buffing brush. It has a couple of different eyeshadow brushes, and they're all very short, so they're perfect for travel. And they fit in this really cute little case that has a zippered pocket too. But that's what I'm using to do um, a lot of this mineral makeup because when you foil um, loose shadows wet. You're gonna need a synthetic brush, and I've been using these a lot to test out the products. You can tell because, see how dirty they are? So I have this lid primed, and I'm going to start with a highlight color. I'm gonna use this beautiful color right here. It's actually one of my favorites, surprisingly, even though it's just like, it looks like a neutral. It's called Opal, and it's actually, I'm gonna swatch it for you really quick. It's like a very shimmery whitish cream with a pink. A pink tone to it and it makes a really great highlight color all over lid color so I'm going to apply this dry using one of these flat brushes and I'm just going to apply it to my highlight area so it can make blending a lot easier later on and on there okay maybe put a little bit on this area right here so it's got some color the inner I guess near the bridge of the nose and the tear duct now I'm going to take a blender brush. This is from Sigma. It's SS224. And then I'm going to get this really pretty burgundy color called Mercy. I'll swatch it for you really quickly. And that's what it looks like right there. It's re very reflective, so kind of it's hard to pick up on the camera, but it looks really good when it's on the skin. And I don't need a lot. Like, I barely need any on my brush. Tap off excess, and then I'm going to bring this into my outer V and blend it into the crease. And it blends so well. So I was very surprised because I didn't have to work that hard to get this look. So I'm just going back and forth to get a nice even spread. 
maybe getting a little bit more to get concentrate in the outer V and then blending it out and clean up the edge. And then we're going to take this really pretty color. It's called Harvest and I'll swatch that for you. It's seriously like, it looks like melted gold. And I'm not even using this wet and it comes out so pigmented, it's ridiculous. If you wanted these colors to be really intense, all you have to do is apply them with a damp brush and it like magnifies them 10 times more. But you don't even need it for this, this Harvest Goldish color. You don't even need to apply it wet because it's already super vibrant. So now I'm just going to pat it on to my lid. And you see how bright that is? It's really, really pretty. It goes really well with this reddish color. And it's very fall appropriate. These are like autumn colors. So as you can see, it's very pigmented. And I'm blending it into the outer V color. Maybe get a little bit more to get it super bright. Okay, so I have that on. Let me go ahead and add just a little bit more of that burgundy color. Like that. And then I'm going to clean off this brush and get a little bit more of this highlight color just to kind of blend everything together. Now I'm going to take another brush from the set. It's this cute little smudgy thick pencil brush. It's like a pencil brush but a little thicker and synthetic. And I'm going to get that burgundy color again. And I'm just going to kind of make this line a little straighter and bring it underneath. And I'm smoking at the bottom. Just to kind of bring the color all the way around. And next we are just going to go ahead and line. I'm going to take my Craftobian Black Velvet Coal Liner and apply it to my waterline. Kind of just gives some drama to the look. And I'm going to line the top as well. So there's that, really easy, right? So I'm gonna throw on some lashes really quick. These are um, Bliss or Red Cherries, number 102. And I love these, these are so flirty and the lashes like, I it's just, like thicker and it goes like kind of wispy at the end, it's really pretty. I'm gonna throw these on. Okay, I have the lash on and I'm gonna let it dry. And while it's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in this eyebrow really quick with my Rimmel eyebrow pencil. Okay, and this is in the color Hazel, which looks really nice because it's a light brown and it opens up your face and it's not too harsh. So that's drying, and while I'm laying that dry still, I am going to finish this half of my face. I'm going to use my Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer in Medium just to kind of get any dark circles out of the way. This is a really quick look, like I'm not even trying to struggle with any liquid foundation. I'm just going to use my Pure Minerals in Tan and I'm going to use the little brush, the buffer brush that came with the set. And I'm just going to buff it in into this other half of my face. Okay, quick right? So now I'm going to take the pigments again and use them as blush colors because you can do that. It's loose. It can go anywhere. So I'm going to take again Mercy, which is that burgundy color in my outer crease. And I'm going to get some onto the same brush. And I'm going to kind of contour with it as well as use it as a blush. And it goes really well with the eyes because it's the same color. So it's nice and pretty. You can kind of bring it around just everywhere to give your face some color. And then I'm going to take the other blush brush that came in the set. And then I'm going to take this really pretty pink color called Sweet. This reminds me a lot of, that, of expensive pink eyeshadow from MAC in case you need a comparison. It's like a pinkish gold color. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to bring it kind of up here. And it's like going to give my skin a nice little sheen. And you can bring it all over. And next, my lips, I already have that on. Actually, it's a good old favorite of mine, one of um, the staples in my kit, Viva Glam 5. It's just a very neutral mauve colored lip gloss that looks great on everybody. 
but this is the final look. It's really, really pretty. The lashes look great with it. Um, the colors are very fall autumn colors. So I'm getting you ready to, for the change in the season. And as you can see, it was super easy. The Mineral Magic um, Loose Eyeshadow Pigments are really easy to blend. And they have such, um, in such pretty iridescent colors. So definitely check them out. Um, make sure to check out the Mineral Magic um, YouTube page as well. I will put that information all on the side of the video. Check them out and check out my blog make it by runrun.com for a complete entry with pictures. And thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, fellas.